Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Vaporesso Pod Stick. This is a 900 milliamp hour um, internal battery and it does hold two mils of e-liquid. Um, it's very, very simple, very unique, very kind of just it feels like an all-in-one even though it's a pod device and it's sort of like a pen so it's in that pen style shape so before i say anything more let's go ahead and go down we'll take a look at the vaporesso pod stick okay so here we are with the best of both worlds it's the vaporesso pod stick so this is the box that it comes in you've got some information here on the back it's going to look um give you the kit contents as well as the specifications and then you have your scratch off authenticity. When you open up the box, you're gonna get your pod system. This does come in a number of colors. I do have mine in black. A USB charging cable, an extra bottle to help you um, fill it a little bit easier. A regular standard bottle will also work, but they did give you this. So if you wanna just take a little bit with you, you can, which I think is great. You're gonna get an extra pod. We're gonna go over that. You're gonna get this card here. This is gonna give you some additional information, which is gonna talk about how to turn it on and off. It's gonna tell you the power adjustments, and then it tells you the wattage, dependent on the type of coil that you have and the power setting, um, and the battery levels as well, because it's gonna have some lights on it, which I'll show you. And then on the other side, it's gonna show you how to fill it. Then you're gonna have instruction of laser anti-counterfeit label. This is just a warning for the scratch off authenticity, making sure that your um, device is actually authentic. In addition to that, you're gonna get this packet here. This does have like your warranty information in it. So open this up. So in here, you're gonna get your warranty card and user advisory card. And then finally, you're gonna get your manual. And this is gonna give you all the information, including specifications, if you wanna go ahead and pause the video. You've got the pod stick, which already has one pod installed. So you get a total of two pods. This one here is gonna be the pre-installed one. And this one here, the C-cell coil. The C-cell coil is a 1.3 ohm coil. You can kind of see it right there. It says 1.3 ohm C-cell. That's um, good from 9 to 12.5 watts. And then the second pod that you're going to get is actually going to be the 0.6 ohm coil resistance. And this one is mesh. It doesn't tell you the material, but it does tell you that it's a mesh coil. So in here, you're actually getting two pods with two coils in them. So I really like that. Now, when you first get it, you're going to have the sticker on it. This is so it doesn't automatically fire for whatever reason when you have it in here and no e-liquid. So you want to make sure that you take that off. On the bottom of the pods, you're gonna have your connectors and they will connect right into here. And this is a clip-in type of pod system. So it's not magnetic, but you hear it? It clicks into place, it holds really, really well. And I love that clicking noise. Now, on the pod systems, in addition to having the connectors here, the best part of the pods is it's got a little arrow right here. Do you see that? You see that little arrow? You push that back and it's got the fill port right there, and then you can slide it back closed. Now when it slides back closed, you can feel it click right into place, which I really like. And you've got like a 510 type of style drip tip. It is fixed, you can't change it, but it does have that type of um, drip tip in it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some e-liquid in this. This is actually the 1.3 ohm coil. For that, I'm actually gonna be using my bottle service from Oil Spill. This is actually my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, strawberry like strawberry champagne menthol really really good flavor and to fill it inside if you look really really close there's like this little channel right there when you push the bottle in it will actually push that down you see how it pushes it down to open and up and open so when you push it in it will actually open up so that you can put your e-liquid in there just gonna put some e-liquid in here Really, really easy to fill, but you do want to fill it kind of slow so that it doesn't pull back on you. And then once you're done filling, all you need to do is just go ahead and close it down. It does hold two, two mils of e-liquid in each of the pods. That's that. Now onto the device. And then the device, it does have a, a power button here. You've got five lights. These are actually going to be your LED indicators. It says pod stick Vaporesso. You've got the Vaporesso symbol right there. And then you've got your USB port there. Your connectors are right there, and there's a little tiny little magnet that will catch here, but for the most part, the part that's holding it in is actually that click part. 
when it clicks into place. That holds it in a little bit more than the magnet, in my opinion. To turn it on, you're gonna go ahead and press it one, two, three, four, five. And I'll turn it on. It's gonna flash through some colors. Um, to change your power settings, now it's gonna be blue for medium, red for low, and green for high. Let's change it right here, one, two, three. It's blue, so that means that it's medium, one, two, three. Red, that means low, one, two, three. That's the highest setting. So that'll tell you. And it does have a 900 milliamp hour internal battery. So two wheels of e-liquid capacity, 900 milliamp hour battery. It does have a power on and off. The only thing is, is this does not have auto draw. So that's pretty much the only difference between this and a couple other pods out there. But this one is a very nice stick type of pod. Um, I like it, but we're gonna talk more about that and uh, pros and cons up top. So let's go ahead and go up top with the Vaporesso pod stick. Okay, so here we are back on top and before anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. So that's the 1.3 ohm um, C-cell pod and that was at the low wattage and now we're gonna go ahead and put in the mesh coil. So again, just fix right into place. You got the green light showing that it's on and let's go ahead and have a vape. Now the mesh coil, the 0.6 ohm resistance mesh coil, I don't recommend as a mount along. I mean, you can do mount along, you really could, but it's very, very airy compared to the C-cell mount along coil. So if you're just switching, like say for instance, this is your first vape device and you're finally getting one, I would definitely start off with the 1.3 ohm coil um, pod because this one is gonna be more, more like a cigarette type of draw than the mesh coil will. The mesh coil is more of a uh, very restrictive direct lung. You can mount the lung it, but there's no way to adjust the airflow. You can do it, but it's super, super, super airy for mount to lung. So for my vaping style, for mount to lung, if I'm feeling like being in mount to lung, I definitely like the 1.3 ohm coil. If I'm just like every day just vaping, I've been liking the 0.6 ohm mesh um, just because I, I don't do too much of mount to lung. When I do, I do, but most of the time I don't. So this one actually works a little bit better for me. Now, both of them have amazing flavor. I will tell you that. Vaporesso has some really, really good coils. I'm, I'm kind of a huge fan of theirs for their coils. But let's go over some more. So I do have two cons and they're, they're not really my cons. They're subjective cons and they're gonna be more of the cons that I, I see you guys um, for what you guys like. So the first one is gonna be there is no auto draw. So that for some of you might be a con. For me, I actually like pushing the button because I'm a power fanatic. I love having my power, don't take it away, don't give me auto draw. So I do like the fact that it has the button, but for some of you out there, you might not like it because you're expecting auto draw. You will have to press the button to vape. The second is gonna be that the, I feel like the second one is just a little bit too airy. The 0.6 ohm coil for a new vapor or somebody who's in pod systems because they like restrictive vapes, I feel like this one's just a little bit too loose to be kind of like a, a mount to lung uh, coil. I wish that it was just a little bit higher, maybe like a 0.8 ohm coil um, to actually just bring back, just bring in a little bit more restrict restriction on it. Otherwise, it's really great if you like um, restrictive direct lung. It works absolutely fantastic. Now the mount to lung, I really think that this is a really good mount to lung. It's got the absolute perfect restriction for mount to lung in my opinion. Now again, that's at the low setting. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the medium. Medium is blue. Absolutely love it. Now, of course, dependent on what um, what coil you have in here or what pod you have in here and what um, power setting you have, 
is when the wat the different wattages are actually going to come into play. Um, I prefer it on the medium when I'm doing the mount to lung with this coil. I prefer it on the low with the other one, low to medium with the with the 0.6 mesh. To be honest with you, the high it it's good, but for me it's just it's. I, I don't really need it. The low and medium work just perfectly for me. And not that it's bad or anything, it's just that my setting would be medium, yours might be low or high, depending on that. Now for the pros, I'm gonna say the construction of this is absolutely fantastic. I love the feel of this device and I like the way that it's set up. I feel like it just, it's set up perfectly. It really is. I love the color variations that they have, which they have, I wanna say six colors. I'm gonna put them right up here for you. But it's very simplistic. It's it's very, very simplistic. And I love the pods, how they click in and out of place. That to me is a huge pro. I don't care about magnets. I like to hear it click into place and I know that it's actually in place. The biggest pro to this whole device is gonna be the fact that I do not have to remove the pod to fill it. Just pushing back on that arrow and being able to fill it from the top is and see your e-liquid level at the same time absolute absolute genius and it doesn't leak and you don't have none of those little rubber things to worry about so i really really like that there's no way that this could possibly leak it's top fill so that to me is definitely a huge huge pro 900 milliamp hours like hello 900 milliamp hours that's going to pr pretty much get you especially if you're doing the mount to lung coil pretty much all day so yeah that's pretty much it for my review if you like the review go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the review give it a thumbs down and leave me in the comments down below like what what is your style like do you like a loose uh, mount to lung or a restrictive direct lung or tight just let me know your thoughts down below for your pod systems and I will see you in the next one.